Hot Tub lineup, the best way is with Cancun. So that's what we're going to be talking about here for the next hour. I'm going to give you the item number. It's M71067, Cancun by Best Way, two to four person inflatable heated hot tub. And this is a sale price today of $499.99. So that's under $500 for a hot tub that you can have at your own home. And you get five easy payments of $100. So that's a really great opportunity. And by the way, today we have free shipping. So this can come right to your door. You don't have to go around and shopping at any stores. Um, it will come shipped to your door. And wait do you see all the great bells and whistles we have. But first, I do want to talk about Best Way, who is the company that brings this to us. They've been in the business for 25 years doing kind of sporting inflatables and hot tub inflatables. So, you know, with that kind of sticking power, you're going to have just a really great product. And this is a really great one. Here it is. Cancun two to four person hot tub. It has a, a capacity of 177 gallons, about six feet in diameter. So, and I think this is our most versatile size, really. So if you don't have a huge area to put a hot tub, you can put that Cancun hot tub there. This does absolutely everything that a professionally installed hot tub would do. Heat to 104 degrees. Gives you that soothing, massaging experience with 120 jets that are all in the bottom of that hot tub. There's a filtration system. We include a filter in there. There's a cleaning system. We have a really nice control panel where you're going to be able to very easily, at the touch of a finger, be able to change the temperature, to change the settings, to put on those amazing bubbles. And remember, it comes straight to your front door, your garage, or wherever you want this delivered at your home free so that's amazing maybe you're somebody that's always wanted a hot tub and you're seeing people just enjoying that experience there i'm actually going to turn mine on so i'm going to go over here to my little panel i have this off right now i just took the cover off and i'm going to turn those jets on and it's really easy to do there's just a little oh yeah there we go so this little button right here that looks like bubble that one is the jets bubble and maybe i'll just go through this while we're here really quick this is that really nice panel and it's all push button. And you notice that this goes up and down too. And you can put your cups in here. This fits a wine glass, by the way. <laughs> you can put your coffee cup in there, your water, whatever. This is a locking feature that anytime the screen is kind of silent for five minutes, you just hold your finger on that to unlock it. That's a safety feature. Timer feature where you can set a future time and a temperature for a certain duration. There's that heating button. I actually like to heat mine up to 104 but you see it's 95 right there, Fahrenheit. We lost power here last night. And I came down this morning to find a hot tub that was turned off. We have a filtration button here. And then this is up and down when you wanna change the temperature. There I have that set at 104 degrees and Celsius and Fahrenheit too. So depending on how you like to read that. But I'm gonna press that jet bubble again. And then maybe we can just take a look at how great this looks. I'm not gonna get in this right now. I've got my um, earphones in so I can hear, but Look at how amazing that is. So you're getting a professionally installed experience. And you can bring this home and set this up on your own very, very easy. I'm going to talk about setup in a minute. But this is just, it's nice and warm. Maybe if, you know, if it is hot, we've had a heat wave lately, but now thankfully around here in the Northeast, it has cooled down. It feels really nice. Very cool at night. But even if it's hot where you live, even year round, you can even put this on 68 degrees or a lower temperature if you wanted to do that. So you can heat it between or cool it between 68 and 104 degrees. If you wanted to just have an ambient temperature, you could do that as well. So, or you can heat that all the way up to 104 degrees like you see, you know, like, like I like as well. 120 jets and they're all around the bottom of that hot tub, which is nice. So there's no bad seats in here. You know, sometimes in a professionally installed hot tub that can be I don't know, fiberglass or um, concrete. These are all comfortable. There you're seeing those jets. And by the way, the bottom is kind of squishy. If you're thinking, you know, I don't want to be sitting on the ground, it is nice and squishy. And we're seeing a video too of how you're going to be hooking up that pump. I'm going to explain that in just a minute. So it's an amazing hot tub, two to four person capacity. It's really kind of the perfect, most versatile size multifunction pump. That is your command center right there that you're going to easily set up. Um, to the side of that tub. There's only one way to set that up. So uh, you'll see how easy that is. And you're going to be able to heat it, turn on the jets from there, use the timer from there, and then get in and take your selfies with your friends and your family. 
if you want to have a party in your hot tub, if you want to just relax in your hot tub after a workout, there's all kinds of different ways that you can use them. So I want to explain setup, and let me just turn mine off for a quick second so you can kind of a little bit better. So when you get this home, it's going to be in a box. I want to say it's about, um, I don't know, feet wise, I don't know, maybe four to five feet this way, okay? There's going to be two boxes inside. One's going to have the pump, and the other one's going to have the hot tub. There's the box. Thank you for showing that. So you pull out the boxes, okay? What you want to do is you want to take that deflated hot tub to wherever you want to set it up. So we brought it down here. My husband and I carried it. I can actually carry this one myself um, to the spot here, and I'm on my back patio. You bring that to where you want to set it up, and then what you're going to do is look for all the accessories, by the way, in the box. There's kind of little nooks and crannies in there. You're going to find certain things inside of there, like, um, you know, like your filter and things like that. So don't uh, throw away your box without looking everywhere. But we do include um, this hose right here that you're going to attach to that pump. I'm going to just show you right here. So it's your bottom left right there. And you're going to attach that there to inflate the hot tub, okay? And then there's, we can't really see it here, but there's a little kind of a, an opening on the side that has a number one. You're going to attach this hose put that in that number one there, and then you're going to turn this on. You're going to use the jet bubble to inflate the hot tub. And wait till you see how quickly it inflates. I want to say about three minutes total to inflate this. You're also going to inflate the cover. You know what? I'm going to run back here and I'm going to just show you because I took my cover off. So you're going to inflate the cover the same way. The cover is underneath here. Let me just turn this around. Here's the cover. And then there's this really nice kind of apron uh, that fits around that inflatable part. And that's going to keep your hot tub protected. So you'll inflate the cover, inflate the hot tub. And then you're going to want to hook this up to the side of your hot tub. There are three connectors right there, everything included. You're going to see three connectors on the side of your hot tub. All you're going to do is just thread that on. Oh, nice close up. All you'll do is just, I'm going to turn it sideways. The threads are right on each one. There's nothing to lose there. You're going to just put this on the side of the hot tub. You're going to connect everything. And then you're going to fill it with your own hose water. So there's fill lines there. And this particular one, you can put up to 177 gallons. There's no measuring needed whatsoever because we do have a min and max fill line in there. So when you see that, you'll know it's all done. Mine took about an hour and a half to fill. I don't have the greatest um, water pressure here at my home, but you just use a regular hose to do that. Hook this up on the side, set it to the temperature you want, put the cover on top, and then you just wait. I want to say it depends on the ambient te temperature, your hose temperature and all that too, and what you want to set it to as to how long it will heat up. For me, I like to set it up to 104 degrees and it takes about 24 hours to heat up. Wanted to let you know too, that there is a nice long cord. It's a 12 foot cord that attaches to that command center, that pump. And this is just a plug. So all you need is an outdoor outlet that has three prongs, that's it. No special attachments. If you happen to want to put this um, a little bit farther away than, you know, where that is, just check to see that an extension cord can, you know, be suited up with this type of voltage that you have here. You want to look that up, you know, inside. There might be some information there. You can always contact Best Way. But there is a nice long 12-foot cord that does hook up to um, your outlet there. And I just want to mention, too, I talked about all of the different things that this does. It's the same as a professionally installed hot tub, heats to 104 degrees, 120 jets all around the bottom there. And there's no bad seats with this one. You know, sometimes when you're using the hot tub, you know, at the house that you're renting and people buy for certain seats because there's the jets. And this is more comfortable. And my head hits this one and this and that. Every one of these seats all the way around just comfortable. And there's a nice kind of a tiny little give here. The bottom feels, feels comfortable. It's nice and squishy on the bottom, but with the buoyancy of the water, you're going to have a really comfortable seat in there. So I think you're going to really appreciate that. Oh, and by the way, this is a material called Dura Plus. So that is a patented material. It's a very heavy duty vinyl that is not going to rip or tear easily at all. So it's a nice sturdy material. And you know what? It fills up. So it's a really solid surface. You can even sit on the outside of this hot tub. It heats to 104 degrees. There's a filtration system too. So we give you this little guy too. Look for that in the box. We give you two filters right here. Let me just show you. Inside, there's one. And then you just screw this on to the inside of the hot tub. So 
course I can't get that on right now. But you just put this on, there we go. You screw this on to the inside of the hot tub where the pump is. There's only one place it can go, so you're going to find it. We also have something called a Chem Connect. I don't have that piece with me right now, but it's just a little kind of a piece that also screws in there and you're going to put chlorine or bromine tablets in there of your choice. So I use chlorine, you can use bromine, just put a tablet in there if you wanna maintain this and you will. You know, if you've ever looked into pricing a hot tub or getting a hot tub, if you wanna keep it clean, you're going to put some kind of chemicals in there. And you can also rinse out that filter too easily with the hose, which is what I do probably about once a week, depending on how much you use it. And you know what, this hot tub looks great. It's a really beautiful basket weave design. It's something I think you'll be proud of having in your backyard, you know, your patio area, wherever you wanna use this. It really does look nice. Sets up in a few minutes with zero tools. So you need nothing to set this up. We put everything in that box for you and then you can enjoy that. Lots of Safety features on this one too. I showed you too on the control panel. You know, I'm going to turn on those bubbles again, just because I think you might want to see that. On the control panel, you just hold your finger over the locking feature for three seconds, and then you can activate anything on, you know, on that panel. And I just turned on the bubbles again. So that's a nice safety feature. So if little ones are out here and they try to, you know, press buttons and turn that on when you don't want it on, don't worry about it. They're not patient enough to sit and wait for three seconds while holding their finger over that lock and lock button. We also have um, three shield technology, which is newer technology that Best Way has put in their hot tub, which allows you to use the hot tub during the winter and even in the coldest times during the winter. So that means that it's not going to, the water's not going to freeze and break the pump or break your hot tub. So it's going to automatically keep your hot tub heated between 42 and 50 degrees you know, maybe when you forget to turn that heat on. So that's a freeze shield patented technology. Another safety feature too is on that cover that I showed you a little bit before that covers all the way around. There's six clips and there's three point clips. So you kind of have to squeeze and press each one of those clips. So if you're worried about kids, pets or anybody getting in there that shouldn't be in that hot tub, it's a nice tight cover and you can kind of like just lock them all down, those straps all the way around. So. Best way is concerned not only for your comfort and your enjoyment, but also for your safety too. And being in the business for 25 years, they're always innovating. So I think that's really nice as well. Okay, we have a customer question. Where can you and can't you put this? So I want to mention that mine is on my patio. I have pavers out here. When you put the water on this, it's going to be over 1,500 pounds. So you want to find a nice, you know, you want to put it on the ground level. You put it on a patio, on a driveway. You can put it on the grass if you want. Um, if you're putting it on any kind of elevated structure, you'll need to find somebody who's in the know if they can support that much weight. So over 1,500 pounds, check with a structural engineer, your builder, your contractor, what have you, before you place it on any surface that's not ground level. So there you go. And if you have any other questions, you know, keep them coming as well. I'm happy to answer anything. Easy setup, easy to maintain. And it's really, you know, what about your self-care? I always think about this. What are you doing for self-care? Are you spending some time every day for yourself? Um, getting in a hot tub for 15 minutes, a half hour, whether you want to get in there in the morning or coffee before you start the day and kind of limber up those muscles because that heat will do that for you. Whether you want to relax if you're working out or maybe a special day at work, this is what I'm talking about. Or you want to just have that kind of a vacation atmosphere. You will love sitting in that hot tub whether you're there by yourself, um, with a friend, with your partner, with your siblings, with your kids. Two to four person capacity. It's about six feet in diameter. Really, I love the size. It's really manageable. If you even wanted to take this on a vacation with you, maybe you're going on an extended vacation, I would say, you know, for over a week, two weeks, maybe plus, this is something that you can bring and use, you know, at your beach house, at your mountain house, if you find a nice place to use it. You saw the box in the beginning, it's about this big. You can take that along with you. And you know, it fills up easily an hour and a half. It took about three minutes to actually inflate the hot tub fills up with water in about an hour and a half. And, you know, you may have a, a campsite or something where you have hot water or an outdoor shower where it's already heated. You can direct that water in there right away and you're all set to go. Here are some great things about this hot tub, too. 120 jets 
all the jets were all around 